go. Like four punnets of raspberries turned into three jars of jam. Because we are going on a boat trip today. I'm super excited. It is just gorgeous out here. It is quite hazy from the fires on Vancouver Island, but all oh, these beautiful sailboats. everybody I am doing a little bit of multitasking multitasking editing videos and starting to prepare both some garlic scapes and recently I got a whole lot of fresh berries um, from a local farm and I'm gonna turn this into raspberry and cardamom maybe raspberry cardamom and lemon or lime jam um, Oh, I don't often, like last, a couple years ago I made a ton of jam and then I've taken like three years to use it all up. So this will be the extent of the jam for this year, potentially, but these raspberries are so delicious. I just had to. So we'll be putting them on to simmer very soon. And I've got some ingredients to make one last batch of garlic scape pesto. These garlic scapes are starting to look a little tired, but... As soon as this cheese defrosts because it's been in the freezer, I'll do that. <sighs> I have got my windows shaded over here so that it keeps it nice and cool in here. This fan I have on pretty much all night, so fun times! Wow, I did not put that much liquid in, and the berries have just liquefied. Wow. Amazing. It smells so good in here. This is not the real thing. I actually grind it up and put it in, but I keep it in a cardamom bottle. So it is actually more loose, fibrous. You can get picked in and like... So... So thick. And so tasty. raspberries turned into three jars of jam <laughs> you don't have to reduce it down that much but I wanted this super thick consistency and I'm thrilled about it
morning, everyone. It is very early this morning. And I am going to drive to meet up with my other seal friends, my my snorkeling buddies, because we are going on a boat trip today. I'm super excited. Um, boat trips mean going to swim places that you don't normally swim. Um, the boat trip itself is fun, and because we uh, all hired this one together, it's been like super cheap to do it. I'm gonna free dive. I think there might be one other person who's gonna free dive. So I've been running around this morning being like, what do I, what do I have in the house to make lunch? So it's gonna be so exciting. This is summer. I'm doing summer activities. Summer stuff. Yay! Good day, ma'am. You crossing the road? You look very dashing today. Yes. Okay, bye. Oh, look, there's sir uh, right there. sunrise wow what a gorgeous day oh, I love being on the beach I love being by the ocean it is still really early and I'm still waking up I haven't had breakfast yet oh, we're getting, there. getting there and it is gorgeous and I'm going on a boat on a dive trip and that is exciting to me it is just gorgeous out here. It is quite hazy from the fires on Vancouver Island, but we'll make do. Oh, there's something really big on the shoreline on the other side. Unfortunately, with a sun glare, I can't see it. Only just if I shade my eyes, I can see it, but the camera won't pick it up. I'm assuming it's a seal. But it's over by the other shore and it was a big splash. Probably a seal or a sea lion. Maybe we Do you hear it? So I'm parking on a private property place where my friends are. And look, these are thimbleberries. Like a half berry. Oh my god, they're ripe. Yum. It'll go lovely on my breakfast this morning. Morning, Patreons. I'm having an exciting day today. I am going off on a boat dive trip uh, just for the day. I'm, I'm 
super excited, but look how gorgeous it looks out here. Oh, it's very early. Oh, I thought they were all lined up. There might be us. The seals are ready. Cackling. Specifically for diving and dive adventure by the name of a guy named Mike Lever, who's built in Souk. And he had a fleet of rather larger liveaboards, and this boat used to nest inside of another boat. So you can imagine the magnitude of what he was doing. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. it can really vary, and it's tough. It's really tough to tell. Um, but it you, looks pretty good today. Yeah, it does. And sometimes it's deceiving because it'd be really good on the surface, and then you yeah. have a, a, yeah. a blanket underneath. So fingers crossed. So I mean, the inlet last week was pretty good, and the inlet's mm -hmm. usually a pretty good indicator of what's going on because the water doesn't move there as much. Um, and for here, when we're in the Gulf Islands, we're getting a fair bit of current. The ocean is my friend, and I have a relationship with it, as do all of my fellow swimmers, the seals. We are getting to know each other better, so that we can care more deeply. Finding the unexplored corners and getting acquainted with the darker chasms. Being here brings me peace, takes me out of my head and into the experience of my own body, away from the stress and worry of the week, and into a place of peace and awe at the intricacy and beauty of my surroundings. From the wave of the underwater plants in the swell to the slow moving sea star that doesn't care at all about time or how fast it is moving. A crab who cares little about what is beyond its immediate surroundings and definitely does not care about the lotus thing on social media. The forests here look different. The world below the ocean has a lot less bureaucracy than life above. The rules are as simple as, are you dinner or are you dining? Defending your babies from predators can consume a lifetime for either or both parents. I have taken a short introductory course in herbalism. I read a lot of plant identification books and I follow a fair few online creators who forage, grow and process all kinds of plants and herbs. My mother too, in her own way, was connected with nature and plants also. 
we grew up with homeopathic medicine, which is essentially herbalism distilled, poisons diluted to healing potions. As I learn about the plants around me, I rely on my friends, books, and research. I take pictures of the flowers I don't recognize and load them into an app on my phone and then look them up once I have the identification in books at home. We have these amazing resources around us, local to our individual locations, areas, and ecosystems to support us. Often you can find them at your local bookstore if you just walk in and ask. Then the relationship building begins, finding where each plant grows close to where you live, finding out what human activity happens in that area around where it grows and where you are. What quantity of it is there and how prolific is it where it grows? These are all relationship factors that influence every decision I make about if I should pick a plant or harvest something to use for food. This flower is called pearly everlasting too. And I haven't been trying to find some, so it's super cool to find some to make to add to my tea jar to make special teas with. Yay! To me, I feel like this is the old, ancient way. The knowledge of propagation, protection, and purpose of each plant poignant to supporting life, both ours and the habitat within which it exists. Knowing the dangers, the use, the applications and the many preparation methods is a meditational practice where research and embodied practice come together for me. How can this beautiful thing sustain me, help my body and what do I need to know in order to use this responsibly and carefully? That is magic and that is relationship. Often, it requires us to slow down, get off a screen, get our hands dirty. I cannot tell you in words the amount of joy that it brings me to have the ability to take my van to places where plants grow, to have the kitchen space in my van where I can prepare and play with these plants. This van has become my herbal clinic, my apothecary, my potion magic crafting space and I love it so, so dearly. I am back with this beautiful bounty of flowers and because fresh flowers are only fresh for a very short period of time I wanted to do something with it. So we are gonna make syrup and we're gonna put the St. John's Wort flowers in oil. St. John's Wort is amazing for depression and PMS both of which I feel like I need every helping hand I can get with so this will be very good.
last year I made uh, some fireweed gin. Oh, I flavoured some gin with some fireweed. I made a syrup and poured it in. And it is still really good. This time I'm only going to make a syrup because I want to use it as a cocktail syrup, simple syrup, instead of flavouring the gin directly. While that is dissolving, I'm going to get some oil and we're going to put oil and put the St. John's wort flowers in oil. Fireweed is one of my favorite flowers and St. John's wort is so magical and powerful for looking after my depression and taking care of my moon cycle. I love these two plants so much and it is an exciting privilege to work with them. On my Patreon I have some plant profiles and recipes for bits and pieces of how you can use these plants, which is really exciting. I put them out occasionally here and there. I hope you enjoyed this dive, this swim, this adventure, getting out in nature in the peak of summer. There's so much nature and being outside has to offer, both for my mental health and for connecting with the plants around me. Um, I have seen all your questions about the tiny house video. I'm excited that you're all excited about the series. I will answer a lot of those questions in next week's video so if you've got any more post them below hi everybody i have just got out of the ocean for an ocean swim i thought i would give you this little video vlog update because i have had a busy few days so you haven't seen a post from me for a little bit because we've had a long weekend here in canada and i have spent most of that time offline off technology spending time with community loved ones and friends as you can see, I have my van back. Uh, we are still in the process of figuring out why I have a check engine light and that it's throwing the idle air control code. Just because it's throwing that code doesn't necessarily mean it's that piece of equipment. We have now replaced that. We've replaced one of the wires that comes from there to the computer because there was some corrosion on it. Um, I'm continuing to work with my mechanic to trace the gremlin. It could be something in a corroded wire on the bulkhead in, in where the compu um, computer is inside of the engine bay. So that'll be the next thing. However, the engine is running beautifully. There is no issues. So it's something that I would like to chase down before it turns into an issue. And also, as you may know, if you've been around for a very long time, I really want to get the registration of this vehicle changed from commercial to recreational because it's a big truck um, so that I can change my insurance and change it to an RV. But I will need the check engine light to be off and not come on for that because they've got to do a full uh, vehicle inspection to make sure that that is possible. It's gonna be a fun couple of months, a fun summer. A lot is happening. I'm just trying to balance doing all the fun things and taking care of myself. 
this week is going to be a tight week with turnaround of getting the video out so there's a chance it might come out on saturday instead of friday because uh, this week is a short week so i'm having fun but i'm tired anyway my dive today was awesome the water visibility was great i got down deep and i can tell you that my fitness needs improving when you're out with somebody and they're like trying to keep up with how deep they go or how fast they go i'm like oh yeah i need to i don't know start running or something in all of my spare time that was a rhetorical question anyway you all are great it's so lovely to have you around and lots of love from me and the monster and siren hope you're enjoying life whether it be summer or winter and if it's if you're in the southern hemisphere which i know a couple of you are the shortest day has just gone so you're on the up much love bye if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss a video especially when the tiny house videos are coming out soon i am very excited to continue adventuring and showing you some of the builds the van where we go life is exciting i feel energized and excited for the rest of summer i'll see you next week bye